thing I can't handle, I'm a chosen one. It ain't a thing I can't handle, I'm a champion. Chosen gang, what's the deal with y'all, man? Guess what? Guess fucking what? Tell me why. So look, the reason why I haven't been posting YouTube videos, and yes, I'm sorry for not posting, but I had ended up getting a lot of presentations ready for y'all, but my laptop ended up breaking. So I forgot for some reason that my presentations were still saved through Google. So now I'm about to give y'all this old ass presentation that I had, Exposing the Matrix Part 2. I uh, hope y'all like it, man. I'm sorry I haven't been posting once again. Man, let's get into this shit. I'm excited. I'm not gonna lie. I forgot I had this shit. I thought it was gone forever, man. Let's get into it. Exposing the Matrix Part 2. Make sure you watch the full video because we about to get deep. And like I said, I made this presentation like last year around summertime. So a lot of y'all already know most of this stuff. But even if you do know this stuff, try to share it because a lot of people still don't know this stuff, sadly. But we about to get right into the video. All right. So let's get this shit. Illuminati. What is the Illuminati? When you hear of Illuminati, you think of a conspiracy theory. But what if I told you it's not a conspiracy at all? What conspiracy has this symbol on the dollar bill? Hey, you remember this symbol? This symbol is on the dollar bill. Every time you think of Illuminati, you see this symbol, the triangle eye and shit. Why is that symbol on our dollar bill? So look, the Illuminati is a secret society who worships Satan and controls society today through celebrities, money, television, politics, etc. etc. Their main goal is to enslave humanity into the new world order, and they are getting closer and closer. Do you still not believe me? Watch this. Now, like I, like I told you before, this is the same symbol that's on our dollar bill. That means the person that makes the money, whoever makes the money, controls the world. Because that means you don't need money. You make this. Money runs the world. So if you make money, you control the world. And th this symbol is on the dollar bill. And this the, I don't get how this is a conspiracy, but I'm about to get into it. So look. This phrase right here, Norvis Ordo Seglorum, that has been right in front of our faces this entire time. But we don't even know what it means. So look, the elites have been putting subliminal messages in our face this entire time. On the dollar bill that says the new the new phrase the phrase Norvis Ordo Seglorum which translate the new which translates to the new order of the ages. And not to mention the phrase E Plaberis Unum on the dime that means one of many. So as you see right here, we have been seeing that phrase and never knew what it meant. It says a new order of the ages. Look it up. All you all I have to do is just look the shit up. It's right in front of our face. They put this shit in our face all the time. Now, same thing with the dime. You see this right here? It's this small ass. I couldn't even see. I had to squint on the little dime. I was just on some bullshit shit one day. Looking into like the dollar bills and the dimes and shit. And ended up seeing like secret messages on our shit. So look, as you see right here, it put us or them. I mean, it put us. I don't even know how to say this Latin shit. You feel me? But look. That's not important. What's important is it means one of many, one from many. What does one from many mean? The phrase offer a strong statement of, a, of the American determination to form a single nation from a collection of states. Let me read that again. One from many, the phrase offer a strong statement of the American determination to form a single nation, one single nation from a collection of states, the new world order. Okay, now go on to the next slide. There's an Illuminati card game that came out in 1996 and predicted 9-11, the virus, quarantine, and the V-Shot. Let me guess, this is a coincidence? So look, as you see, you can find this whole game on eBay. It's a 1996 Illuminati New World Order limited epidemic, whatever that shit is. So look, let me zoom in real quick. They predicted, but all this shit has been planned. We're just living out their plans. This is all an agenda. Everything that happened has been planned to happen, and I hope y'all knew this already. So look. The whole 9-11, that was in the game. Quarantine, that was in the game. Over 20 years ago. Hold on, how the hell do I zoom out? See, I don't know how to work. It's been so long since I've seen this whole presentation. I really thought I lost everything. Illuminati, New World Order, on the in the game. 90, 1996. So this shit is still a conspiracy? Like, how can you explain that? Next slide. Celebrities in the Illuminati. The only way to get big in this corrupted ass world is to join the Illuminati. Once you have the power and money, you can change things. And the elites can't have that happening in their matrix. So the so they use their puppets to enforce their agendas for the new world order. So if you don't even believe that celebrities in the Illuminati, I want you to explain this picture and I want you to explain how the hell does everybody just happens to throw up the same sign. How many times have you took a picture and did that shit with your fucking uh, fingers and eyes? Nobody has ever did that. They're connected to something, obviously. But it's like 2022. Everybody should know about this shit. So look. Alright, my fault, y'all. I had to switch phones. My shit just stopped recording. But what exactly are the agendas that these celebrities are pushing? 
Now, have you ever realized how the music we listen to affect our life? The more we, the more we hear about guns, fucking hoes, and drugs, is the more we look at it as normal. Everything we listen to goes to our subconscious mind. Our subconscious. So wait, hold on. So since we hear about taking drugs, sex, and violence all day, our minds automatically perceive it as normal, and it influences us to do it because the celebrities do it. So now, a majority of the people thinks it's okay. So look, the more you're listening to this music about you know killing people, taking drugs for having sex, all this shit, your mind is constantly thinking it's normal. So you're going to keep doing and not even realizing it's the opposite of the natural way of life. These people that's controlling this world is the same people that's in, that's promoting this music, that's pushing this music on us. And they understand they understand the power of music. They understand how this is going to affect us today on earth. They understand how this is the reason why everybody's killing everybody. This is the reason why everybody's ODing from drugs. Everybody's taking drugs. This is the reason why... Uh, all the females want to have the hot girl summer and fuck every nigga they see. Uh, all the men out here want to have sex with all the females out here and just, and, bro, this world is so corrupted. This They're making this shit look like it's normal. The more people that rap about this shit, it's the more that it's be becoming normal. But it's not normal. It's the opposite of the natural way of life. And that they at least understand this. That's why if you can control the people that makes the music, you can control the world. Because these people run the fucking world. Everybody knows music runs the world. Everybody listens to music. So, Y'all gotta keep this shit in mind. Understand that it's deeper than just music. This shit is all going to our subconscious. And yes, I listen to this shit too, but at the same time, I'm aware of what I do. I don't let shit just affect me. A lot of people out here is not aware and they get influenced by the shit that they listen to and see. Next slide. Whew. Celebrities who spoke out the celebrities who spoke out against the Illuminati. Now you probably never seen any of these videos because all these celebrities have spoken on the Illuminati and the Illuminati or the media is not trying to let these, let these videos get out. So I know a lot of y'all probably did see these videos, but at the same time, they're trying to hide these videos because they're trying to expose the truth. Now check out my man Cat Williams talking about the Illuminati. Now this one was just plain as day, clear as day. Hold on. Some of us are against the Illuminati, and we are against the Illuminati at our own detriment. When people are against the Illuminati, then they get punched in the face all the time. The press hates them. And nobody likes them. This is out his mouth, by the way. We all love Dave Chappelle. Exactly. Dave Chappelle has never been a part of the Illuminati. They don't want him or me or people like us. Um, but now, it's not uh, necessary. Now, you heard him say that out your mouth. Now, how can you sit here in my face and tell me this is still a conspiracy? He's in Hollywood. He's, you know, in this shit. So he's telling you straight up firsthand from his experience how the Illuminati works. So how can you deny that because of you not believing shit? You feel me? Now, look at this uh, video from Jim, Jim Carrey. Now, I had posted this on my TikTok. If you got me on TikTok, you've seen this video. Now, this one is <laughs> He mocking the Illuminati, putting the tongue in it instead of an eye. But this is going over everybody's heads. Look at him, look at him smiling. Smiling, trying to play shit off, knowing damn well what he's doing. You know? Don't know what that is. I have no idea. You don't know. Jimmy Fallon doesn't know. David Letterman doesn't know. We don't know. All the comics and show business don't know what this is. See how you're right. playing it crazy? Yeah. What is it? Come on, Jimmy. Seriously. The time is up. People are hip to this kind of stuff. I, I'm here tonight to blow the lid off it, to be the whistleblower. I'm sick and tired of the secrets and the lies. It is the secret symbol of the Illuminati. And you're part of it. And it is a Look at him. Look at him. No, and damn well he exposing shit, trying to act like he don't know what he's talking about. It's the symbol of the all mocking tongue. And I'm sick of it. I want everybody to be in on the joke, man. You know what I mean? Like, for years this now, is this is talk show hosts, people on television, people in sitcoms have been hired by the government to throw you off the track, to distract you, to make you laugh, and stuff like that, make you happy and docile, 
so you don't know what's really going on. You know, they get out there in the woods in a circle naked and they decide these things. Oh. And, you know, and you know, look at him. Look at him. Like, he's, he's telling you on everything. He's Hilarious. making it a joke. And, you know, and I'm sick of, uh, hold on a second. You know what they're trying to do? Who? Oh, this thing is buzzing. Hold on. They're trying to turn us into, you know, uh, you know, consumer drones of some sort. Well, AIs. Consumer video. drones. AIs. Yeah. Listen, I'm in the middle of blowing a lid off some money. Happen. I'm sorry, Jimmy. I was temporarily interrupted by my iPhone 6 Plus. <laughs> so yeah, basically, he just came up some exposing shit and tried to play it off like it was a joke. But tell me why Jim Carrey's girlfriend died shortly after that. And I also heard that people was in the crowd and they didn't hear nobody laughing. I heard that they added the laugh at sound effects to avoid the awkwardness. So this shit is, bro, this is Jim Carrey. He's exposing this shit. Jim Carrey is actually a wise guy. He's very smart and he's spiritual. He has, he has uh, deep quotes all across the internet. He talks about deep shit all the time. But in the movies, he's always looked at as a silly guy and the dumb and dumber and all this shit. They don't, they don't want him, they don't want y'all to take him serious you feel me when he says shit like this that's why you feel me everybody laughing and shit that's why they're trying to I mean, they're trying to make everybody like they laughing and shit because they don't want y'all to take him serious but he was dead ass serious he was trying to show y'all in a joking way though you feel me so next up we got x rpx rpx he was talking that shit for real knowledge is power they don't want you to have knowledge at this point in time that's why the new world order is here that's why once again new world order uh, they have all these fucking distractions, distractions to keep you from enlightening yourself. Self enlightenment mm. is the key. I can't say too much. I won't say too much right. to get to get myself into some shit. But self enlightenment is a key. I'm only gonna say anything that goes around the Buddhist way of life. You get what I'm saying? I relevate it towards that because that's already out there, so nobody can come target me for something that's already out there. You know what I'm saying? Right. The Buddhist way of life. Right. Teaches you, you know what I'm saying? Bro, do y'all hear that shit? And he died over the shit he was saying, and people were still not taking this serious. Either you didn't hear about this shit, or you didn't take it serious when you heard it. You probably thought it was fake or whatever. He just died over this. His girlfriend died over this. What was the last movie that you see Cat Williams in? There are sil they are silencing these people from speaking out about this shit. Now next up we got Nick Cannon. This shit is crazy. Like, can y'all please open your eyes? I hope y'all. I hope. Hold on. I hope I, I, like, like I, hope I sparked something to somebody out. so far. Because I hope y'all can't still see this shit and not think that, you feel me, this is real. I hope y'all still don't think this is a conspiracy. But let's get into it. Nick Cannon. So basically, he's talking about the pedophiles that's in Hollywood. He was talking about how this person shouldn't be in the person with that room. These elites, these, you feel me? These rich people are pedophiles, you feel me? And they try to, like he was talking about, trying to frame people and shit. They frame people for being pedophiles, you feel me? Because if they speak out like he did or do some shit, whatever, they frame them for being pedophiles or doing things that they actually didn't do. Like Michael Jackson, for example, you feel me? I forgot what he was trying to do, but they frame him for being a pedophile, something about he did something with a kid or whatever. They do shit like that because the media, they, they run the media. They can do whatever the fuck they want. I forgot who this guy is. Uh, he was in a rock band or something. Dan, Dan Reynolds or whatever, he was in a rock band and he came out exposed to Illuminati straight up. I don't even know what happened to this guy. Imagine Dragons. Can't even hear shit. I hope y'all can hear it. The Illuminati's real. I don't remember. It's how Imagine Dragons got famous. I'm tired of the politics. Bro. It puts me at great risk putting this out here and telling you guys this, but I, want, I believe in full honesty and... Uh, Beyonce is not talking Chris Martin nobody nobody's saying a word so he said out his mouth I'm in the Illuminati that's how I imagine dragons got real if you say this is a conspiracy or it's fake then you're in the you're in denial you know I just showed you all this shit and you still think this is not real bro they're telling you out their mouth like bro what the fuck I don't know how else can I show you this is real and anyways once again this is 2022 Everybody knows about this shit. I just found out when I started making TikTok that people still think this is a conspiracy. That's why I'm making this video. They, they control this entire world. It's on the dollar bill. Next slide. How does the Illuminati affect our life? Now, you might be thinking, yeah, they celebrities or whatever. How, how does it affect our life? Everything that Illuminati does is to control us. If you don't think you're controlled, then just think about how you have to work for a piece of paper that they created. That means they made money for you to work. They made money for you to work. Just think about that shit. All the, 
the only way you can make some legal money for real, I mean, of course, now some new ways and shit, but like the original meaning of money was to make you work, to make you slave, basically. So look, th th that means they made money for you to work. Also ask yourself, why is food and water sold to us? Do you think that the creator sent us here to work our entire life, I mean, work our entire life, yet work for another man who's just like us? Now, whoever you believe in, God, whatever, do you think that he sent you here to do what you're doing now? Work every day for a piece of paper, live the same life over and over again. Or right, what do you do when you get the most of the piece of paper? Buy a new car, new house, new whatever. Then what? What, what do you think you're here for? Now, once again, these distractions, like everybody was talking about, these distractions is to take you away from your true purpose, to reach spiritual enlightenment, to elevate yourself, not to get the most money. That shit is pointless. That's a piece of paper. That's material. You can't take that shit with you when you die. This is all an illusion. We're all distracted with this shit. Now, I'm trying to wake y'all up, and people are trying to wake y'all up. Y'all just need to see this shit for what it is before it's too late. Next slide. What ways do they control us? They at least control us through music, frequencies, and wait, uh, and music frequencies in which they can alter our mind. They give us fake news to keep us in fear, and they keep us in fear and worry and poison us with fake and unhealthy food. Now, let me get into this food shit. Now, the hardest thing for you to do is to give up your favorite foods because your favorite foods is made with artificial ingredients that make you want to keep eating it. That tastes so good. Why would you want to eat? Uh, a fruit. Why would you want to eat a fucking banana when you can eat a whole pizza and burger? Why would you want to eat, you know, vegetables when you can eat fries and shit? You feel me? They make all this food so good so you can't put it down. So you got to keep eating it. And that's it's so unhealthy that it's fucking your body up every time you put it in your body. That's all unnatural food. Like what we came here with, I mean, not what we came here with, but what's made naturally from this earth is the food that we should be eating. Fruits, vegetables, you know, all that shit that grows on trees. What burger tree have you ever seen what piece of tree have you ever seen where did it where's this shit coming from if it's not coming from nature we came from nature we came here naturally the fruit came here naturally why are you eating shit that's not organically made you feel me then let me let me tell you the consequences i mean not yet hold on uh frequencies how they control us through frequencies most of the music we listen to today is tuned to 440 hertz 440 hertz is damaging us mentally spiritually and physically this is what 432 hertz look like this is what 440 hertz look like. Now you can't see frequencies, but this is going. This is affecting our soul in ways that we can't even imagine. This is making us moody while even realizing it. This is having us, you know, giving us headaches. This is what I'm gonna let my man X talk about it once again. RIP X. This is fucked up. X was talking about so much shit, but nobody ever what took music? it serious. What's the point of music? Niggas don't know. It's not always to have fun. It's not always to have fun. RIP X, bro. RIP X. I'm sorry, I gotta keep saying that shit. Program. Music is frequency. What frequency are you being fed? I will hope. I will hope, motherfuckers. Look at the chat. Look at the chat. Shit out this conversation. Look at the chat. Oh well, this part, this part of the conversation, and then see that I'm really, really, actually helping people, bro. I'm got, like, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me be detailed. At 15 years old, I was doing um, sound engineering. So I was playing with frequency. I was playing with equalizers. Now, I think I think it's a, 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 a it's not a sonar wave. It's or it's a, I forgot it's like an alpha wave or a sonar wave or something like that. I basically I figured I figured out that hertz is to understand the frequency vibration, right? So there's kilohertz. Well, sorry, there's hertz, kilohertz, megahertz, right? And then there's I think it's ultrahertz. If I play with those frequencies, right? I can target certain parts of the mind, target the frequency to go to certain parts of the mind, and I can literally, like, if I want you to astral project, right? You know what astral projection is? Yeah. I want you to ask, if I want you to astral project, or if I want you to go to sleep, or if I want you to go into a meditative state, I can make my music do that. These little niggas out here don't give a fuck enough to go into that science, bro. Thanks. These little niggas ain't studying kilohertz, megahertz, doing all this shit. These little niggas don't know how to equalize, compress, and do all this shit. And the ones that do, okay, maybe maybe your music not good enough to, to where it got to where, or maybe you're not real enough. Maybe your goal's not good enough. Sorry. Bro, you X was me? so real, bro. X was putting his line, life on the line. Every interview, every time he got a chance to speak to the public, he was always saying some, spitting some deep shit. His confused ass don't know what the fuck he's talking about. He just think he's just saying bullshit. The chat over here is saying bullshit. Some of them know what he's talking about, talking about bullshit. See? 
he was putting his life on the line. He put his life on the line for this knowledge. And people is just looking over this shit. People not, is not taking in what he's saying. So I hope y'all do something with this information that I'm giving y'all now. I hope y'all actually take this in. People was dying over this information. Rip X, for real. How they control us through food? What we don't seem to think about is how bad the food we, we eat is for us. Why don't we question all the acids and toxic ingredients that's in our food? Why do we continue to eat it knowing it's not good for our body? Now, bro, just think about this for a second. Look at all this shit. Can you even spell out half of these words? Why are you putting all this shit in your body if it's not natural? When have you seen a citric acid treat? When have you seen a... Uh, I, 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 whatever that fucking says. When have you seen a treat for that? When have you seen any of these natural ingredients? This is all processed and lab made foods just to taste good all this shit is just made to taste good so we can keep eating it but let me keep going why do we keep eating it knowing it's not good for our body how long is it going to take before this stuff starts kicking in think about that shit our body was made to eat natural fruits and veggies we aren't supposed to be eating any artificial food or any dead animals that's why they keep adding extra shit in there to keep us to keep us eating it because it's good but it's not good for us now bro this shit all right, let's just think about this one second. If you're eating all these ingredients, right, all these unnatural, unhealthy ingredients, what do you think is going to happen to you in 10, 20 years when this shit starts really kicking in your body? When people die from, I'm, well, I'm fucking up and shit. When people die from strokes and people has heart problems and all these kind of problems with their body, where do you think it came from? It came from the shit that they put in their body every single day that think that has no problem and no downside to. This will affect you later on in the long run. If you're not detoxing, if you're not balancing out while eating healthy too, this is all going to affect you in the long run. So I advise you to get on your shit right now and up your diet. You feel me? Start eating natural foods. Stop putting this shit in this not hard because the fact that this is not natural to your body, your body won't crave it after a certain amount of time. Give it like a week or two. All that shit will be out your body. Your, your body will not crave it because this is not a natural food. You feel me? So you have to put it down to even see if you can stop first. You're not even putting it down. You just can't. You just think you can't stop because, oh, it's so good. You don't want to stop. If you wanted to stop, you can stop. Your body is very strong. You feel me? Next slide. Why they poison our food. We are electromagnetic beings. Let me say that again. We are electromagnetic beings, okay? Which means we need to be eating electro foods, electric foods such as fruit and veggies. But since we don't eat, since we don't and we eat snacks and dead animals, we are lowering our frequency and ruining our DNA and getting our electromagnetic field weakened. I spit, I spit, I thought I spit that one. And weakened. And it's causing us to have mental problems and will cause health problems later on down the line. Like I said, now, bro. Do you see how all these colors is just making you, when you walk down this aisle, you're like, ooh, snacks, you feel me? They all, this is all psychological programming. They know exactly what they're doing with all these bright colors and shit. It's making you attracted to this type of food. This is all unhealthy, unnatural food. You won't see any of these food with the natural ingredients. None of the, you won't see any of these snacks with the natural ingredients out of it. This is all processed and lab-made food to keep you to continue eating it. This is fucking poison. This will kill you in a certain amount of time. That's why you, all these people is just dying randomly, cancer, this, that, that, because of all the food that they're eating, okay? This is meant to kill you. They, you think they really care about making you some food that tastes good to make $2 at the most? These people make the money, okay? They don't care about making money from this, okay? They care about poisoning you slowly. You give this shit to your kids. Oh, I'm about to get into this next, okay? I'm about to get into this next. Third eye. Third eye, pineal gland. Our pineal gland is the seat of the soul. It will connect us. It, 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 it's what connects us to the spiritual realm. In reality, we are naturally smarter than these elites, okay? We are naturally smarter than them. So the reason why we are enslaved now and don't question anything because they close our pineal glands and that takes away our strong intuition. We come out the womb with our pineal glands open and naturally in tune, but it's not until our parents start feeding us this fucking junk food and we're constantly drinking fluoride water, which closes it. Now, this is a depiction of the pineal gland. This is called the... I forgot what it is on top of my head, but if you split a brain and oh, if you split a brain in half, this will give you the depiction of the third eye, the all-seeing eye. And the Egyptians understood this. The Egyptians knew this. That's why they depicted the pineal gland as this. This is how the this is how a classified pineal gland look. If your pineal gland is closed, your pineal gland looks like this. And nine times out of ten, your pineal gland is closed because you drink fluoride water and you eat this shit every day and you eat fucking cheeseburgers and this shit every day. So. That's all made to close your pineal gland. Your pineal gland is meant for you to have that strong intuition. 
to make you see through bullshit. This is your third eye, okay? You're meant to see through bullshit with this. This is not it's not meant to see through bullshit. It's meant for a lot more things, but it helps you see through this bullshit, okay? We came through the we came through the womb. We came out the womb with our pineal gland open. We're able to see spirits with our pineal gland. That's why little kids have you know they see kids under their bed. They see clip. They mean not kids. But well, I'm tired as hell. That's why little kids see ghosts under their bed or see monsters under their bed or see monsters in the closet or whatever you feel me because their pineal gland is open that's why they have imaginary friends you know that their pineal gland is still open it's not until they, their parents keep feeding them candy you know probably prescribe them with certain medicine and all kinds of shit thinking they got adhd these fake ass disorders that's all to close your pineal gland and when your pineal gland is closed you're enslaved you're like you're easy to be lied to now you can be sucked back into this world you can't see through anything you're not you're no longer natural it's like you're a whole bot now and that's their whole point is to keep us bots to keep our pineal glands closed next slide how do they control us through the media they at least understand the power of the of tv programming they don't understand hold on they at least understand the power of tv programming they understand what it does to our mind so they feed us fake news because they know they know we are asleep and won't question anything because our pineal glands are closed now we are very easy to manipulate do you know how many people spend their time on their asses watching the news, believing everything they say, only because the news said it? I'm pretty sure your mom, your grandma, your dad probably, they all, or it's mostly old folks. All old folks do is just watch the news. And the news, whoever controls the news, the elites are programming them to spew out bullshit to the entire world. Once again, look at, look at, Look around this world, bro. Everybody is wearing a mask because they're scared of a virus. They think they're about to catch. They think they're gonna catch the. They think they're gonna catch. They think they're gonna catch the virus. Even they if they move their mask down a little bit. If they know since he's exposed a little bit. They think they're gonna catch the virus. That's how programmed this world is. They think if they go outside their house, if they're not six feet apart, they're gonna catch a whole virus. Like this world is is done. Okay, most of this world is done. That's why I want you to send this video and wake people up because this shit is not looking good, and all because of this news and the people that's controlling the news is looking bad for the world you feel me next slide the ultimate programming the elites really got us when they introduced the virus which made the entire world go crazy they got people to stay in our house and wear masks just because of what they seen on the media okay now this is normal once again your subconscious everything that you that your subconscious see is making it normal so now people think that looking like this every day going outside looking like this having them big ass shields over their head they think that's normal all because they scared of a virus that they only seen on tv and even if your family i'm about to get into, i'm about to get into the next slide because the true meaning behind this virus look at this shit. if i'm spitting just ignore that okay i'm talking fast i'm tired you feel me i'm ready to finish this video but look it's 5g related to the virus Everybody is scared of this virus, but instead of going outside, getting sunlight, eating healthy, you're in the house all day, surrounded by bad radiation. This 5G radiation, 5G radiation, because I don't think you can say this. I don't think you can say certain words, or y'all shit gonna get deleted. But by bad radiation and wearing masks, not getting any fresh air, but instead getting your oxygen molecules absorbed by these towers, that's getting you, that's causing you to get sick. So you're not going outside getting no fresh air. You're not getting no fresh sun. Sun. You're not eating no natural foods. You're not doing anything to boost your immune system. But you inside the house all day quarantining. Then when you go outside, you wear a mask. Not getting no fresh air. Just breathing in your own CO2. And now you're getting this. You get. You're getting your oxygen molecules absorbed by these 5G towers. Now let me tell you the the dangers of these 5G towers. Now I want you to think about this. Back in quarantine. That's when they put up all these 5G towers. You haven't seen any of these 5G towers before quarantine, have you? You haven't seen anybody getting sick before these 5G towers, have you? Oh, okay. You having this these 5G, you having your phone, your phone got 5G? Yo, yo, what? Everything in your house is just 5G. It's like you just getting as fucked up by this radiation. You feel me? Now, look, let me tell you the dangers of 5G. Effects include increased cancer risk, cellular stress, Increase in harmful free radicals. This is small as hell. Free radicals, genetic, genetic damages, structural, structural and functional changes of the reproductive system, learning and memory defects, deficits, whatever I say, I can't fucking read. <laughs> Neurological disorders and negative impacts on general well-being in humans, okay? So as you see, these 5G towers have very bad negative effects on our body. And people are just forgetting all about this. People is more worried about this virus and not paying attention to this these 5G towers that they put up around the time Corona started happening, right? So that's something you should think about. 
Now, last but not least, the V shot. Now, everybody wanted me to talk about this, but once again, this is a sensitive topic, so I avoid talking about it to get my shit from taking down. But hopefully, they don't take this down. So, look, isn't it crazy how they happen to have a, the same, I mean, the vaccine for the virus the same year we had a lockdown? And isn't that odd how they keep pressuring everyone to get it? Now, look, in Michigan, they was giving away, because once again, this video is old, made it last summer. Missing, they was giving away five million in prizes to get. Have they ever gave five million away just to get a? Bro, this is not a red flag to y'all. How is this not a red flag to y'all? Like, bro. oh my god, let me look at the other one. They was giving out free weed. One, one more perk for getting thing: free weed. They're giving out free crud to get a. Why are they? Why do? Why do they care so much? You think that you think that these people care that much about you that they will give out five million? Free weed and all kinds of shit just for you. Do you think that the government cares that much about you? Think about this. The same people that's making you pay for food. If you was homeless right now, they would not come to you and give you a million dollars. They won't care. They won't come to you and give you five million dollars. Okay, they don't care about you. So don't act like all of a sudden, oh, they want to help everybody. No, they don't care about you. They're behind all this shit. They want you to get the vaccine. They want to press you to get. All right, man. I'm finna end the video right there. That was exposed in the Matrix Part Two. That was just some shit I had last summer. If I make it part three, that shit will have way, way more information. Because now I got way more information than I had then. But I'm tired of this right now. I'm about to just end this video. I'm glad that y'all made it to the end of the video. I hope that y'all shared this video. I hope that y'all can get some information out of this. I hope that y'all can see this world for what it is now. I love y'all with everything in me. Chugs again, we on top. We back on YouTube, man. We back, we back with the videos, bro. I'm glad I found my presentations. We good now. I love y'all.